that, but I, I do have this, I don't know what it is, um, like, aberration. Aberration? Like, no, aberration. Like, I'm abhorred by my mother. Oh. Because she had a... Oh, the abortion. She had an abortion prior to me. Yeah. And, and discovering that, I think I was like 13, 14 years old when she, she told me about that. And, and I think we, we talked about how it affected you before. But like, but what does that mean for you? <clears throat> to just... I don't know. I think it's... Does it affect your opinion of yourself? The way you view yourself in light of this situation? Yeah, in yeah. a sense. I, I always, I don't know, I'd always wanted an older sibling. I'd always oh. wanted that connection. But there's something even more real. So it intensifies the loneliness in a sense because yeah, someone was there. Yeah, because I was, I, was an only, I was an only child by my mother. I was my mother's only son. Okay. My father left for years. And so that was all I had. But I had a sister, my, my father's okay. daughter. So I connected with her, I mean, ever since I was young. She would always say things like she prayed for her younger brother, and then I came along. Hmm. We had a very strong connection. We still do. I love my sister. What's her name? already yeah she's alive and now you said that you said that there was the aspect of loneliness associated with the abortion like you could have had another sibling but you said it was also more intense and real and I, I don't know what you mean in the sense that no and maybe not more intense and real but I always think about what like my uh, if my mother was capable of doing that like, like if it like, happened for you too. Yeah, it sh it, I wondered if you it like should have happened. Yeah. I wonder if it should have happened for me. It's kind of almost like a very dark. Were you a C-section? Uh, baby. No. Okay. And not that I, I don't know. I was. I'm a preemie. I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, okay. I'm a preemie by quite a lot, and I, I was strangling myself with my umbilical cord. Oh my god. I had like rap like. Um, my earliest memory, I believe, which I've, I've experienced my whole life, um, and I could still describe it because I still get it sometimes when I'm nauseous. Like before I throw up, I get, I get this vibe that is that I call it chopping eggs, which is just the idea that all that exists in the universe is this giant universal egg, and that it's just slowly cut down the center, and I can't tell if it's hard-boiled or if it's raw but it just keeps cutting and it's disgusting and it makes me want to throw up the way it's going and that's that's chopping eggs and I've I referred to that all my life I remember it when I was one years old two years you old have songs three about this? Yeah. yeah two of them two yeah about me throwing up and when this happens because when I get in that mode of thought shapes and colors they lose their boundaries so a triangle a blue triangle suddenly the, think of the outline disappearing and now it could be a pink square for all I know you don't know what it is anymore because the thing it's that made it what it was is the outline right. that's what makes it what it is the boundaries are what makes you who you are where you end and something else begins mm. and that, it, that concept always nauseated me and I remember thinking of this when I was one years old and I, I can prove it based off of where I was when this happened where were a place that I shouldn't even remember, Where like an you? apartment before oh, okay. I moved. Yeah. You have a, me a memory from that. Mm -hmm. I have several. Just throwing up over my grandma's shoulder as like oh, two wow. years old. Just weird stuff. I remember. I feel the perspective so me. And it's not like it was relayed to me later on by my parents, like recounted. Like just I just remember the experience. Because they wouldn't even know of it in some cases.